below the surface, there lies a realm that is ruled by the Finn. And if you could be one of them, sharks on the planet. Join the frenzy at SeaWorld in summer 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president of Orlando SeaWorld Parks and Resorts, Donnie Mills. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. I am Donnie Mills. I'm park president for SeaWorld Aquatica. And Discovery Cove is our resort. Thank you for joining us today. I've been with this company for over 40 years. And in my travels, I've had the opportunity to participate in the launch of many new attractions, but none as interesting and as exciting as the coaster that we're sharing with you this morning. So we have a wonderful morning in store for you, and we are truly delighted that you're here. SeaWorld's known for immersing our guests in the sea through a variety of experiences. First and foremost, our inspiring shows. Up close, zoological experiences. The animal habitats and thrilling rides. Our last major attraction here was Antarctica, Empire of the Penguins, which featured both a family-friendly ride as well as a world-class penguin habitat. More recently, earlier this year, we opened a new show, Sea Lion High, which has very quickly become a guest favorite. So for 2016, we're upping the thrills with a coaster that will literally have you on the edge of your seat, but will also bring awareness to some of the most mysterious creatures in the ocean. The summer of next year, we open Mako, a coaster inspired by one of the fastest species of shark. Mako's a hypercoaster, designed for speed and maximum air time. It will be the tallest, longest, fastest coaster in Orlando. That, that's good. That should get a round of applause. <laughs> so, so more to come about that here in just uh, in just a couple of minutes, but. When you, when you think about Mako and you think about the addition to SeaWorld, um, really what SeaWorld has at that time is a very strong thrill-like portfolio. We'll have five coasters, three that are thrill, but each are quite different from each other, and two family coasters. So if you think about it, your child's first coaster opportunity on Camo Express, and then at a time later followed up with the exhilarating experience of a hyper coaster in Mako. That sounds pretty good. But we're not the only park that has exciting news. Our sister park in Tampa, Bush Gardens, which I formerly have worked at twice in my career, also has a wonderful new attraction in 2016, which they're going to share and announce with you tomorrow. But this morning, we want to stay focused on the new thrills at SeaWorld, a coaster that will leave you feeling both breathless and weightless. Now, there's only one person. When I think about our company, I work with a lot of wonderful, talented people, but there's one person that I think is most appropriate to come up on stage and give you more information about this coaster from both a technical and a creative design and intent. And that's Brian Morrow. Brian is the Senior Director of Attraction Development and Design, and clearly one of the most creative people I've ever had the opportunity to work with. So please welcome to the platform my colleague and friend, Brian Morrow. Thank you. All right, good morning. So uh, this is going to be a little bit more lighthearted. This is an amazing attraction. It's, it's supposed to be fun, okay? So uh, you got a little taste of Mako in there. Um, that's a tiny taste. I'm going to give you a lot more information about this amazing ride. And most importantly, what will make it uniquely SeaWorld in a way that only we bring thrills, entertainment, and education to all of our guests. So we're going to get back to the ride in a second. But I want to talk about the bigger attraction overall. SeaWorld's not known for just doing a roller coaster. We're really, really, we are really known for taking guests to a place that cannot go on their own. And Mako is going to be part of a larger experience where our guests will get to venture underwater into the realm of sharks. So I want to introduce you to the newest realm of SeaWorld Orlando, and it's all about sharks. 
So you'll recognize some of the things. We're really good at re-envisioning and reimagining what we do within our parts to make the parts new, relevant, and fresh, and a new experience for the guests every time they come. And this attraction is no different than our proven history of doing just that. Uh, this is all about charts. It has a very distinct beginning, a very distinct end. And what makes it a realm? Well, it has all the components that make the, the Steam Street Sea World, right? It's got an amazing animal habitat at Shark Encounter, one of the best restaurants in the theme park business. Sharks Underwater Grill. It's got brand new retail experiences included in the realm. And it has, of course, the newest and most important part, Mako, the drill attraction, which will be the apex coaster right here in SeaWorld, Rhode Island. So we'll talk a little bit more about the realm, but let's get to the ride. So this is Mako. And what Mako is, it is truly a tour coaster rider's ride. It is a hyper coaster in all essence, form, and style. Um, and our company is really the best at scripting coasters, period. We're really known for it. We have highly repeatable, very unique, and unusual coaster concepts, scripts, and experiences. Mako's no different. Guests will take the point of view of the Mako, which is one of the fastest sharks in the ocean. And it likes to swim in open ocean, deep water, and it likes to go fast, and it likes to breach out of the water as well. Sounds like a hyper coaster to me. So that's exactly what this coaster will do. And it runs. We had to give Mako a lot of space, so it really fulfills the needs of a hypercoaster experience, which is airtime, airtime, and airtime. And Mako will over-deliver on what we call relentless airtime. It will give and give and give highly repeatable, unusual guest need on a ride experience. So the back, 200 feet tall. That's the top of the list. First drop, 73 miles per hour. And how long is this experience? the longest in Orlando for a coaster. It is 4,760 feet long. That is nearly a mile of relentless coaster experience.